Okay. Out of all these years, I have never, ever been good at making rice. This is just regular Walmart rice. I'm putting it here in this drainer, and I'm going to rinse it. We will see how this does. I'm going by a review and um, instruction that I saw on YouTube. Let me see if it's going to be a fail or a success. I'm going to rinse this and I will be putting it in um, like an instant pot. That's not the name of it, but it's that type. Alright, here goes nothing. I've only used this pot. I bought it actually on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid $25 for it. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Over there. Alright, this lady had said what she does is she does a half and half. This is three cups of just your cheap, basic Walmart rice. And this is three cups of water that I measured out. And salt. Oh, nice pepper. <laughs> salt and pepper. That may have been too much, and then I'm just going to stir it around. Now, I don't know if I can put this lid on with one hand. Let's see, hold on. This is a mess here. I've put that on. Let's see that. Okay, that's closed for the vent. And then she said just do rice. I think it's supposed to, yeah, looks like it's starting on its own. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hope for the best. Looky there. That did turn out pretty nice and fluffy. It's a, uh, I may have left it in the pot just a little bit too long, or I should have put more water, but I was following exact directions from a lady on YouTube, and whew, it's got my lens all messed up, but so far, sorry about that, so far so good. I'm going to dehydrate this to make instant rice or heat and eat, you know, add water and it's cooked rice is what I'm going to do. So, so far, so good. We shall see. Alright, now, I think I'm going to try to use these silicone sheets on this. I'm going to dip this out. I stuck it in the refrigerator just a little bit to cool it off. Cat. Abby. That's a tripod, not a scratching post. Hopefully she won't knock the camera down. So, I'm just going to put this on here. Spread it out a little bit. Sweetie, girl. If that camera's bouncing around, that cat's down there rubbing on it. <clears throat> it's the cheese, isn't it? If it's not one of my silly animals, it's another one. No, I spoke too soon. Alright, I'm going to finish putting these on the tray, and then I'm going to put them in the dehydrator, and I'm going to put the dehydrator on at 125 degrees, and probably for about five hours, and we'll go from there. <clears throat> I'm keeping my fingers crossed at this Oh, I don't know how much you even saw. But anyway, you get the idea. Alright, I've got them in here. I think I'm going to check them a whole lot more. Since this is the first time I've ever done this, and I have no clue if I'm really 100% doing it right. I'm going to start it. I was going to go to 100 25, but I think I'm going to do like 115. I'm going to start it a little slower 
and I'm gonna leave it on an hour and a half right oh hour and a half right now because I'm gonna come back I've had some people say that this will stick really bad so I'm gonna come back and move it around a little bit and try to keep it from sticking on those silicone pads we shall see I'm staying hopeful though I feel good about it <laughs> Alright, now looks like the dehydrated rice is done. Oh yeah, it's nice and hard. So I'm going to pull it here out of the dehydrator. I didn't exactly time this. Um, some of us are learning, don't worry so much about what the supposed correct time length of dehydration is because weather changes and humidity in your area may be different than mine elevation area where you are may be different than mine all these things factor into how long it takes to completely dehydrate something so let me get this out of here and we'll go from there all right i've pulled just a couple of the trays out It's very dry, very dry, very hard. I'm not going to worry about these clumps, but you certainly can smash them down a little bit. I'm not going to worry about them because I can tell this is dry. I am going to put the camera off, I'm going to jar these up, and I'll get back with you. And the reason I don't care about the big uh, chunks. They're already completely dried. When they get rehydrated, it's all gonna they're all gonna separate like they're supposed to. So let's get them jarred up. Okay, now we're right down to the last tray here. Got my handy dandy funnel, canning funnel here. The thing I love about some of these sheets um, and things that make it easier to just pick the whole thing up and pour it in here. So, I'm going to make sure that's sort of cleaned off there and I'm going to seal it up. As usual, my brilliancy wasn't on full force. <laughs> There's my canning jars right there that I was just washing and cleaning. I wash them very good in hot soapy water. I put a just a little bit of bleach in it then I rinse them really good and then I do mine I sanitize or sterilize or whichever you want to say in the oven at 200 degrees typically for at least 30 minutes you know unless my old senior hood kicks in and it turns out to be 45 minutes or an hour the main thing is get your jars clean so I also the last step I put just a very little bit of rice here. I'm going to add just cold tap water. This is, I've never done this either, so we literally can see. And I'm going to shoot you over here to the time. It is. Let's see how long it takes to rehydrate. Okay, we're back. It's 2.54. I deliberately didn't put much rice in here because to me it doesn't matter about the amount. It will all still uh, rehydrate. I told you I put cold water in here. Um, it is not as soft as it would be if it was hot water. But it is, it is separating, it is getting softer, and now I'm from the south, people, so I kind of have the rights to make this kind of joke. <laughs> if I was toothless, <laughs> I would probably wait until that got a little bit softer, but thanks to the Lord, I still have my teeth, or 
98% of them. So I would easily combine this maybe with those dehydrated beans that I did the other day that I fully cooked. I would easily put this rice and those beans together and be able to eat them. And I'm kind of joking about the South, but come on. I embrace my humor. I embrace my heritage. I don't take myself seriously, and neither should you. We have enough things to worry about. But with me and my teeth, I could actually go ahead and eat that like this. And the reason I chose cold water was for a purpose. What if it really was grid down, and you literally had to take, and were lucky to find even cold water, cool water, tap water, you can eat this. Rehydrate it and eat it. So there you go. Okay, now scripture alert. See, I'm going to try to remember to warn some of y'all, even though I wish everybody. Um, There it is. It's hard. It's totally cooked. And it's dehydrated. I feel very good about this project. I really do. I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of this. Ready rice. Um, fast rice. Instant rice. Whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I am going to read today out of 1st Thessalonians. Um, chapter 5 and I'm going to read way longer than I ever have before but I really feel the urgency to do that but of the times and the seasons brethren ye have no need that I write unto you for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a, as a thief in the night for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are of the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch, and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. And that wake or sleep means alive or dead. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as all show ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake. And be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, Warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil. Don't repay evil with evil. If you're ugly to me, I'm still not supposed to be ugly to you. Um, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men, that's all humans. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesyings, prove all things, test them, that's what that means. Hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. 
I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Uh, it mentions something about being thankful and grateful. I The Lord has put on, on me lately, actually for the last several months, I was a complainer. I mean, I'm a gifted complainer. Nagger, griper, complaining old lady. And somehow the Holy Spirit said, Karen, you need, if you would, start to be thankful. Um, how many of us know people that it gets to a point that they sort of take you for granted after a while? You used to help someone do something and they used to say thank you. Well, over the course of a period of time, and that time varies with individual to individual, they stop even saying thank you. And after a while, you go and help them or you do this or you do that. Not only do you not get a thankful, it's as if, well, you were late today. You know what I mean? Am I, I hope I'm coming through because there's a point to this. Well, once I started saying thank you to the Lord, that changes everything. And I want to tell you how simple it is. I have learned that even if I wake up first thing in the morning and I am hurting from head to toe because I'm an old woman, there's arthritis and things involved. And I'm thinking, what do I have to be thankful for? I hurt. And the Lord said, try it. So I begin every day, thank you, Father. I like to start at, thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Jesus, for paying my sin debt that I could have never paid. Then it'll go into, thank you for my home. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my parents. And I have gotten to the point to where I will even say, thank you that my back isn't hurting as bad today as it was yesterday or as it could be. Thank you for the clothes that I have. They're not good, but at least I have clothes. Thank you for the shoes for my feet because there's those without feet. If we cannot be thankful for what we have, why in the world do we expect to be blessed? And think about it. That's why I started out as saying, do you know people that just after a while they go from, oh, thank you, honey, to, well, you sure did show up late today. Stop it. Stop it. Thankfulness will change your life. Well, nothing changes your life like Jesus Christ, but thankfulness, uh, it can even work if you don't have a personal relationship with the Lord. Change what you focus on. Because you will strengthen on whatever you focus. Whatever you focus on magnifies. If you focus on negative, guess what? Your life is going to be a basket of, of just mess. One mess. If you're grateful, it changes everything. Yes, call me an old fart Pollyanna. That's okay. In fact, I'm very flattered with that. Love you guys. This is probably boring. I don't know, but... I'm feeling the, the need and the urgency to help some people in this prepping process. And I feel a need to spread my, my beliefs in my Lord and my Jesus Christ. Y'all take care. Love you. In fact, it's trying to brew up a storm out there. Please get ready. If you eat food, if you are human and eat food, you need to start getting some food. That is how... For people that can't afford anything and don't physically can't do it, the Lord will take care of all of all of us, all of them. But sometimes He'll use me or you or someone else to help those that cannot help themselves. Love you guys. Sorry this went so long. In a way I'm sorry, in a way I'm not. I'm an old lady. <laughs> Evidently I have no life. <laughs> Love you guys. Take care.